Well, my new toy. This is the DaVinci Pro 1.0 3D printer from XYZ Printing. Now you guys might ask, Sam, don't you have enough going on without adding uh, something else? Yes, I do. But I've been wanting one of these 3D printers for quite some time, uh, a couple of years now. My buddy Marco picked up one about a year ago. He got the Zortrax uh, 200. And as soon as he got it and started making parts and, and different things, it just blew my mind. And I decided i got to get one of these. But I didn't want to invest in one at the time. And I had just really too much going on. Uh, Marco sent me a link to this printer for around $500. It's a very good printer for the money according to everything that I've read and some of the YouTube videos I saw on it so I decided let's go ahead and get one and I don't know how much I'm going to be using it at first but I do have some plans for it so let's take a look so this particular printer as you can see it was packed really well uh, it's very nice nicely made it appears uh, I am no expert by any means with 3D printers, but uh, this is definitely packed real well. So, hoping that everything is intact. It seems that everything was re supported really well, so hopefully nothing's broken. And you can see it's a pretty good size build volume. Uh, this build plate is 7.8 cubed. Over on the side we have our on-off and power cord here. And looks like a firewire USB there. So I'm going to pull out the manual. I'm going to start uh, seeing how to get this thing up and running. But this is my 3D printer from XYZ Printing. Now I chose this printer because it has a lot of features that I was looking for. It has the heated bed so that I can do ABS. It's enclosed. has a nice overall design. A good size build volume. Uh, almost 8 inches cubed. It's wireless. It has a laser option. It's able to use third-party filaments. You don't have to use uh, their particular filament. You can use third-party filaments, which is great. And I'm really excited. I have a lot of little things that I want to use this for. A 3D printer, I think, is going to come in handy for me particularly for doing some prototyping stuff. So this will be really helpful with that. Really excited. Um, I don't know how much time I'm going to actually get to use the 3D printer. Uh, the good thing about the 3D printer is you can kind of just leave it alone and let it do its thing. And from what I've seen on YouTube and read about 3D printing, uh, some prints take hours. So that's kind of good too, so I can kind of just leave it and then go on to the shop and work on what I need to be working on. I finally got all the packing material removed. Uh, this thing was very well packed. Everything was secured really well. Big, big zip ties and a lot of foam. Um, really, really well packed. Uh, as you can see, the print volume is pretty big. And the build, the build plate, you can see I can get my whole hand on there, no problem.
Okay, well, first build done. Uh, this was just a sample. I went ahead and installed BuildTac on my print bed, and it took about 38 minutes to print, and then probably another uh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes or so to cool down, and then the bed lowers and you can take it off. Let's see how I can get this off. It's, it's stuck on there pretty good, but look at there. Came right off. That is awesome. So, I guess everything that people have said about build tech is true. Pretty awesome. Now, I did lower the nozzle uh, the Z offset, I lowered it an additional 0.23 millimeters for the thickness of the bed. First 3D print, well, not bad. I'm not exactly sure what the settings were um, as far as resolution. With this being a sample, I'm, I'm assuming that it was probably uh, high resolution, but uh, probably uh, 100 microns, but I don't know. I didn't check. All right. Let's try something else. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.